Hi, I'm Peter Barton from the RS Aero Class. We're here today at Lymington to talk about how to rig your aero and some top tips on rigging it and bimbling it. First thing I like to do, get this bolt nice and tight so that your rudder doesn't go slamming down into the concrete if you're over the concrete. Also, if you're going through shallow water, you can uncleat this and the rudder won't come up unless you do go aground, unless maybe you're planing flat. So that tightness of that nut is critical, just tight enough so it doesn't fall down. Moving forwards, I like my water bottle secured here like this. This is a Selden bottle, but this little attachment, which is the old plastic clips from the under deck control takeaways, just ties onto there, fits on top of most water bottles, and not only does it keep your water bottle nice and safe, but it also acts as a tent pole to hold the toe staff a little bit higher to make it easier to engage as you come out of those quick tacks and jibes. So it's a little bit lower now, and that just holds it up on the bungee. Moving forwards, very important, a little bit of tape around the fitting here. They don't normally fall off, but they will fall off once in a blue moon, and it will be just when you don't want it to on a windy day when you take a snatch on the tiller. So just two wraps of tape there is all you need for security of keeping your tiller extension onto the boat. Moving forwards down the boat, a lovely option from RS, and I recommend it to every racing sailor, is the compass. Um, it's tied to the boat, so you can't lose it once it's on because the kicking strap goes straight through it. So as long as you've got a knot in the end of the kicker, it's on there. It just fits onto RS's little dot there, which is for a compass or for a GoPro or for maybe a GPS unit you could be using when you were training. It'll be a lot of fun. Um, just fits on like that. Kicker goes through, into the cleat. Tie a knot. The JC strap is an accessory for the aero. Um, it's very useful in less than about eight knots of wind. You don't really need it in more than eight knots of wind, but it attaches to the boom at the rear of the kicking strap tangs and it pulls the boom out in light winds to overcome friction in the system and it holds the boom out nicely on a run. Um, I like to attach it at the very last minute before launching because it can pull the boom out while you're ashore, which is a little bit dodgy if there's any breeze. And also when you launch your boat, it'll pull the boom off the centre line and make it less stable whilst you're trying to recover your trolley. So that is the last thing to attach just before, the second one is the last thing to attach just before you go sailing. Since August 2019, all RS Aeros came as new with over-deck control line tails. It means that behind the cleat, you can put these on top of the deck here, rather than under a gunnel, continuous round the barrel like they used to be. The advantage there is it saves a little bit of twisting, and it means that you can see exactly how much you've got left, which is a little bit more manageable. I like to minimize mine, so I've got these little rings here, I don't use blocks because it's only a takeaway system and as long as it goes away relatively easily, my motivation is to make it as light as possible and as simple as possible in line with the RS Aero ethos and great for racing. So I don't use any bungee on my out hall, I just have it tucked across the boat and I have a little bungee take up just from the middle here which is pretty standard on the out hall. So one nice addition to the aero, which I'd recommend, is the stripped kicker. So you're allowed a minimum of three millimeters diameter for the kicking straps. So at the top end of the kicker, where it goes around all the blocks, you have three mil, and then you, that's stripped from a four or five mil line. And here you can see the attachment. So that point is just at the point where the four or five mil line is always in the cleat, because you don't want to be using the three mil in the cleat. So if I pull the kicker really tight, you'll see that that five mil will just not quite reach the cleat, which means that I've got a lightweight rope and very little friction in the active part of the line in the system. It's very useful to have some bungee on your out hall and your cunningham to pull them off, and there's various different ways of doing it. I like this very simple one, which I pop my mast in, and then this, just goes on top of the mushroom after the tack line has gone underneath the mushroom. Um, that means that when I let my Cunningham go or my outhaul go, this bungee does both jobs. It pulls them off a little bit as I release it through the cleat. 
um, adjust that till you get just the right tension. Now, if you find you, you want a little bit more range in that, then a popular option is to put a little loop in your main halyard up here, and that bungee could go all the way up to the main halyard up here, and maybe then just a quick release hook is permitted in the class rules onto the other end here after you've gone through. That will give you a little bit more tension and range in the bungee. So in the RS Aero, we've got a very high boom, which doesn't give us a big problem crossing the boat and banging our heads. Um, the advantage of a high boom is that we can have a high clue tie down here. And that gives us the advantage that when you move the outhaul, the sail will move quite a lot without even having to overcome the friction on, on the boom here. Um, some sailors like to use a bungee to pull it off and put bungee along the boom to make sure it comes off that much easier. I don't find the need for it. As long as I've got this set right, most of your movements you need in the outhaul can happen without this even having to move here. The outhaul moves a lot easier when you're going upwind because there's a lot more pressure in the sail. So on light wind days, always try and release the outhaul just before you go around the windward mark. It will also move a lot easier after the kicker's been released because the kicker will add to all the friction here. It's a class rule, but the staggerboard must be attached to the boat because we don't want to be losing daggerboards. There's enough friction in it, but it won't fall out when you capsize, but just to be safe, it must be attached. Bungee's good. Some people use the tail of the kicker, then that way they know the kicker's always in the middle of a boat and they can grab it easily. Um, I like to use bungee. But the standard way of bungee straight down the middle of the bows can get in the way of a compass and can get in the way of a kicking, kicking strap fleet. So it's good to lead it out to the side. So I just use my downhaul takeaways, lead my fin bungee through there and then it comes up and that pulls it off the centre line, away from the compass and away from the kicker cleat. Something very important to look after on your RS Aero is your tiller. You need it to get home. Um, the tiller has gone through some evolutions over the last few years and it's on about modification four now. It's really strong. There's no excuse for breaking it in normal sailing. It'll only break in abnormal sailing and maluse. Um, four ways to avoid breaking your RS tiller are don't hang on to the tiller extension when you fall overboard. Train yourself to hang on to the main sheet, but let go of the tiller extension if you miss a toe straps and fall overboard. Try not to stand up upright in your RS Aero too often because if you get a little acceleration and they love to accelerate, you fall over on your tiller, it could break that way with mal use. And the other way you can break your tiller is if you climb in the back of the boat after a capsize, you want to climb back in, don't use your tiller for climbing back in the boat. Tiller is absolutely fantastic and perfect for steering. Don't use it for anything apart from steering and you'll be just fine. The RS Aero is made of epoxy and carbon were needed in the areas for extra strength. Um, that makes it hugely light and hugely stiff, but you've got to be very careful if you're coming from a plastic boat to be careful of your RS Aero. So it's an absolute zero collision rule um, when you're out training. And if you're hanging on to boats on a slipway, make sure you hold them apart and just don't bang them into each other too much. So it's a great education for a young 13, 14, 15 year old to look after your boat. And if you're coming from a plastic RS Terra or an RS Fever, you've got to learn to, but you just can't bounce your boats off each other like you might have been used to. So I hope that's been useful. Check out our next video of top tips of technique on the water on how to make your RS Aero sail line a course faster.